what's going on guys and today we'll be doing part three of the montreal franchise series last episode we ended off on a big losing streak which helped us for the connor bedard races which we are fourth last in the league so we have pretty good odds of <coughs> winning connor bedard so let's get on to the video okay so we're gonna simulate the playoffs let's skip through that Oh, send the rest of the regular season there. Let's see, yeah, we're gonna sim through the playoffs. Oh, my AHL team is in the... The NHL team is in the... Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh, okay. So, the AHL team did play pretty good this year. It's based, I think it's because my young guns are developing super fast. This guy's gonna be in our lineup. So, we do have a lot of talent down here under Rocket of Lavelle. Some older guys. Yeah, just these two are coming up to the NHL as soon as they can. <coughs> What's him? Alright, the, Anahe the Anaheim Ducks have won the Stanley Cup. And the San Jose alternate team have won. The important team. E team. So that's a bit odd. And we end up with the. Oh. Fifth overall pick. New York jumped from 14 to 4. That hurts a lot. So we are a bit worried. We could draft a good player. We are hoping to draft a defenseman because we got. I don't think we have too many. Good defenseman. Joe, Th Joe Thornton retired. He's like 82. Uh, these guys are all... I should scout. Alright, the sixth overall guy is what we're looking for. I'm pretty sure I might have another pick in the draft where I can de pick a defenseman. The NHL draft. Wait, Austin, Matt, how did Matthews? Oh no, never mind. Never mind. Don't listen to me. All right, so I found my two other picks: the thirty, the thirtieth, and the thirty-first pick in the draft. I might, I think I might trade them or get a higher pick. Okay, I traded the 30th pick, the 31st pick, and the 90, no, the 67th pick, I mean the, la the last pick in the second round, for the 9th overall pick, so now we got the 5th and the 9th pick. Pretty nice, and how the hell is Christian Dvorak's trade value so high? <coughs> Good to know. Ooh, Connor Bedard didn't even go first overall. <clears throat> Going after both Swedish people. Right, pretty good. He will be on our second line, maybe. If he develops properly. <clears throat> and the ninth overall pick. Oh, we sh maybe should have went after that left winger. No X Factor ability, so. Oh, they drafted the one I wanted to draft. What, what was he? Yeah, he ended up being pretty good. Alright, complete steal. We got two young defensive assets. An 80 overall that's only 20 years old. So, this guy. We got him. And another player to play, hopefully. Be pretty good on our D. Okay, yeah, that was, a, that was a steal. That might be... That might be the steal of the century for us. <clears throat> we don't know. Right, after that goal steal, we had no other noticeable players. Yeah. So, 
contract resigning, I will resign some players and see you when I'm done resigning. Very advanced today. Paul Byron did not want to resign. I don't care. Caulfield, I signed him six years, six point seven. Jonathan Tunk Dwayne also not happy. Miku not happy, so we got a bunch of guys not happy. But basically all the rookies I wanted to resign have signed. <coughs> Alright, Jonathan Dwayne is um, driving a hard bargain here. We have plenty of cap space and I'm not going to use it on him. So, my team is set up for the future. We have a promising goalie. We have good decor. Obviously a good offense. I think next year, next year might be our time that we stop rebuilding and we try to run for... Not run for the cup, but run for the playoffs. <clears throat> Our Jeff Petrie is being traded for t second and a third. Frees up a lot of cap space for us. We will use to sign probably a better player. They're offensive for the moment because we're still going to need it. Oh, you got some good, uh, you got some big names. And Nathan McKinnon with all the cast base that we have. Oh, that's, um, it's tempting. Seriously tempting. But do we want to risk all of our cast base for Nathan McKinnon? Because if we get Nathan McKinnon here, we immediately become contenders top team in the league 12 million for price tag of Mason McKinnon doesn't seem too bad but you will be losing money for our future franchise is a franchise player why not we'll be paying you Twelve point five. I do not care. <coughs> All right, Davis Savard is being traded for a second and a sixth round pick. He wasn't worth keeping, but I am going to sign a defenseman, probably for the same price tag as him, but better. Alright, uh, this was a terrible trade, but I traded all those guys for a 7. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad deal. But it does give me more cap space, which I need, which I don't need, and... Gives me, because I have so many contracts, gives me enough money to sign a new guy. I'm not taking Bobowski. Shannon Kirk signed, which is nice, but Nathan McKinnon also signed. That was the, that was the thing that we wanted. And now we have a decent goalie. Uh, let me pull in the snap sheet, match the offer. Alright, so, thank you guys for watching this video, if you guys like it, like it, if you guys really like it, subscribe, and peace!